Welcome to this video on the new and improved calculated metrics. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the basic and the advanced functions uh, within the metric builder to create a filtered or weighted metric. All right, so the scenario here is we've um, I've already introduced this metric destination visit percentage. And as you can see here, there's, you know, when I sort by the highest destination visit percentages, I see a number of pages that don't really have a lot of visits and so they're taking up the top of this report. So what I want to do is I want to filter out anything say below a thousand visits and I just want to focus on the destination visit percentage for anything that's above any page that has more than a thousand visits. Okay so let's go in and we'll create this metric. So I'm going to go over here I'm going to add a metric. We're going to call this the filtered destination visits percent. Uh, and then I'll skip the, des the description for now, but basically we're looking at uh, pages with more than a thousand visits for the destination visits percentage metric. Okay, and this will be a percent. We'll go one decimal page should be fine. Uh, again, this is page analysis. All right, so now let's get into the part where we're creating the actual um, weighted or filtered formula. Okay, so we go to the last one here. I've, I've shown you metrics and segments and now I'll go to functions. And there's a number of functions here. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to cover all of them, but you, you, there's a lot of statistical functions here. And if we go into the advanced section, we can actually ac access some, some conditional um, rules as well. And so the one that I want to start off with is an if statement. Okay, and so that brings up um, three different areas here. So logical tests. So we're going to look for greater than and the metric we're going to look at, and so I'll go back here and get the visits. So that, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to add a static number. And so you want to click right here. Um, if you click out here, it doesn't do anything, but if you click right on that text there, add our number. Okay, so we've done that. And now, um, so we've got, that's our condition. So if it's greater than a thousand visits, we're set and then if this is true then we want to basically get our destination visit percentage okay so that's going to do that if it's false we're going to add another static number here so in this case sometimes um, in the past examples they've used one in this case because I'm using a percentage that would not be good so I'm going to go with zero because um, one would basically be 100%. So I think we've got everything here. And now we're going to hit save. So let me just show you what we did again, just to review, make sure we're all on the same page here. So you see the summary here, we've got a logical test. So it's basically looking at visits over a thousand. And then if that's true, then do the calculation of the, this is basically the, the destination visit percent calculation. And then if that's false, then just put a zero in that uh, column. All right, we save that. And now what we see here is the same visits that we had where there are a lot of pages. You'll see right now we're filtered by destination percent. You'll see that there's zeros for them. So if we actually filtered by, we, we sorted by the filtered destination percent, uh, those pages will disappear. So we're really just only focusing on the high volume pages that really matter and will make a difference. So lots of power there. Obviously, I barely scratched the surface of the advanced and basic um, formulas and, and functions that you have there, but really powerful and can give you lots of options on creating new metrics that really help you analyze your business. Thank you.